My name is John Chapman. Now in this video podcast, we're going to have a look at the return on investment to reduce the cost of doing business. We'll have a look at a spend control solution and we'll identify the software features which link through to the business changes to ultimately our investment objectives. And as I say, it's to reduce the cost of doing business or to contain cost, which is important. So first the theory. We will use an approach developed by the Cranfield School of Management. Now on the left hand side, what we identify are our facilities and technology. From that, we have features that we'll deliver which enable changes in the way that we do business. And those changes will lead to business changes. And it's from the business changes that we expect to get business benefits. And the business benefits should lead through to our investment objectives. And our investment objective in this case is to reduce cost. So on the left hand side we have facilities and technology. We have enabling changes through the features that we deliver. These then lead to business changes in the way that we work and that we should link to business benefits which deliver to us our investment objectives. So let's have a look at our spend control solution and how we can show the link through to our investment objective which is cost reduction. Three features we'll evaluate. The first, purchase order entry with detailed item analysis at the line level. The second, goods receipt note entry with service classification showing the quality of service at goods receipt noting. And the third one is purchase invoices are submitted electronically so they don't have to be manually entered. Now if you recall from the diagram, these lead through to business changes. The first one is the ability to analyse spend in a way that we couldn't do with purchase invoice entry only. We've got detailed analysis at line item. The second one is around what is the quality of service we receive from each of our suppliers. And the third one enables us to get away from manually entering invoices into the system. Now that's got to be a reduction in time spent by accounts payable so they can focus on more value add work. The business benefits are if we cut down on the amount of time we have to spend doing analysis based upon reviewing individual invoices because it's electronically available then we can go back to our suppliers and we can talk to them about how we can work better to both reduce our cost and their cost as well. The next thing we can have a look at is how we work with our individual accounts payable people to move them away from manual invoice entry to do more value added work. So as the organisation grows we've got cost containment and ultimately this links through to our investment objective which is cost reduction. So what does this mean to the great and the good? Well there's three stakeholder groups we need to consider. The first there are directors and top management. They buy the return on investment and cost reduction is the key driver for directors. How do they reduce the cost of doing business? Our senior and middle management are interested in buying solutions to problems. Data entry is a problem, it requires manning and if we take away that resourcing requirement that should make their life easier. The analysis of service at goods receipt note entry means they can go back to suppliers and find out how to do business better. That reduces non-conformance again and should make their life easier. And finally for our users, well data entry can be perhaps a little bit tedious. If we take that away and reassign them to do data analysis, then that should make their life more enriching and motivational. So at the top, we have senior managers are buying the cost reduction. Our middle managers are buying the reduction in non-conformance and resolution of problems around doing day-to-day -day business. And our individual users are buying the features and benefits of the system that means they can move on to do work which is more interesting. My name's John Chapman. I hope you have found this of interest. Please give us a call. We'd like to talk with you further as to how we can deliver our solutions into your organisation.